Hey, Bradley here. Recently I had a six hour layover in Houston. And when I got there, I didn't want to spend the whole afternoon inside. So I actually got into the city to see what I could experience. And in that short amount of time, I was able to actually see a lot. Uh, and it made me wonder, as a native Louisianan and as a New Orleanian, if someone asked me, what are the most important things to do if I had one afternoon, what would I tell them? And so, here's a list. The four most important things to do in New Orleans on any given afternoon. Things to do number one, catch a ride on the streetcar. Getting around New Orleans by streetcar is the best way to see the city. It's cheap, convenient, and a great way to interact with locals and tourists. There are three different lines, St. Charles, Canal Street, and the Riverfront, each of which originates downtown but takes you through different parts of the city. For more info, you can visit the Regional Transit Authority for a list of places to purchase tickets. Brad's tip number one. Be aware that even though it only costs a buck 25 to ride, they will expect exact change. And also, don't call it a trolley. Just trust me. Things to do number two. Walk around Jackson Square. Located on Decatur Street between the Jack's Brewery and the French Market in front of the St. Louis Cathedral, Jackson Square earns its name from one of three bronze statues of Andrew Jackson located in the center of the square. Jackson Square is also the location of an open-air artist colony where artists display their work on the outside of the iron fence. Grab coffee and beignets from Café du Monde and enjoy breakfast while people watching in the square. Bradley's tip number two. If you actually meet the love of your life on that streetcar ride, you can get married in Jackson Square. All you have to do is fill out a booking request form and you're good to go. If they agree to marry you. Things to do number three. Have a walk down the world famous Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street is rich with historic venues, social tales, and iconic buildings. The street dates back to 1798 when New Orleans was founded by Jean-Baptiste Le Moyne de Bienville. Also known as Rue Bourbon, this monumental street sits at the heart of the French Quarter, extending 13 blocks from Canal Street to Esplanade Avenue. Bradley's tip number three. Don't be afraid to try some of the food on Bourbon Street. Some people have this idea that Bourbon Street restaurants are kind of touristy and not very authentic, but I really disagree. Some of the most famous restaurants in the world are on Bourbon Street. Uh, I'd certainly recommend getting out there and trying just about anything you can. You won't be disappointed. This brings me to things to do number four. Finish off your afternoon with an authentic Cajun meal. I may be a little bit biased on this one, but just trust me, you'll thank me for this. Old Nola Cookery is located in the heart of the French Quarter right on Bourbon Street. The ambiance and the cuisine are a dynamic duo. This family-owned and operated restaurant has the sights, sounds, and authentic New Orleans food that has delighted many locals and tourists throughout its long history. With chef specials daily, Old Nola Cookery is sure to have exactly what you're looking for. A great atmosphere and great New Orleans food. Bradley's tip number four. My favorite dish is actually not even on the menu. They call it the redfish poncha train. Starts off with a big filet of redfish straight out of the Gulf of Mexico. We blacken that, lay it on a bed of crawfish jalapeno cornbread dressing. On top of that, we throw a handful of sauteed shrimp, then we cover the whole thing in a bechamel sauce. So it's gonna be a light cream sauce, butter, garlic, herbs, Parmesan. It's delicious. I would eat a shoe if it came in that sauce. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. These are four things that I love doing on any afternoon in New Orleans. Feel free to shoot me a comment. Let me know what are your favorite things to do in New Orleans. Thanks, I'll see you next time. Thank you.